this is the future of flight. A British-made electric air taxi has just taken to the skies, and it's not science fiction anymore. Vertical Aerospace has completed the first piloted flight of a winged EVTOL aircraft in open European airspace. The test took place at Cotswold Airport in England under the strict watch of the UK's Civil Aviation Authority. The VX4 prototype took off, cruised, and landed using wingborne lift, just like a traditional airplane, but 100% electric. So the, the milestone we achieved was our electric aircraft took off like a conventional aircraft along the runway, hit 70 knots, took off and flew in public airspace. A huge moment because that was allowed by the regulator at the UK. We couldn't do it without a regulator saying, this aircraft is safe to fly in public airspace. CEO Stuart Simpson says this is just the beginning. With over 30,000 in-flight data points confirming stability, control and performance, Vertical Aerospace is now gearing up for its next goal, a full transition flight by late 2025, where the aircraft will shift between vertical lift and forward cruise. Backed by UK government support and global interest from airlines like American Airlines, the VX4 could soon reshape urban mobility. The company is targeting commercial certification by 2028, bringing us one step closer to clean, quiet, and fast air travel. It's the first time in European airspace that this has happened. Uh, the regulations there are much tougher than they are in the U.S. If we're in the U.S., you can be out in the desert, there's nothing around, you can fly at your own risk. In Europe, uh, you have to work with your regulator. And it was a major step. So we took off like a conventional aircraft this time. Within six months, we'll be taking off vertically and fly, doing the same flight, but with a vertical takeoff. From fantasy to flight, the era of flying cars may finally be here. And the skies above Britain are leading the way. The, the ambition for this aircraft is for mass transport. If you look at the way the world is evolving, global megacities don't work. Whether that's Mumbai, New Delhi, London, New York, LA, Tokyo, Osaka, you can't get around in them or in and out of them very easily. So the goal of this, if you look five, 10 years down the line, is truly mass transport, open to everyone, safe, clean, efficient. I mean, 50 years ago, this was fantasy flying cars. Five years ago, there were 400 companies. The winners are emerging, vertical is what? Well. We've got the technical capability, a world leading battery. We've got the best aircraft in terms of number of people and capacity for luggage. So we are brilliantly placed to be successful in this space. We've actually done vertical takeoff, cruising at around 30 knots, 30 feet, uh, and vertical landing. We've then done a conventional takeoff and landing, flying at 120 miles an hour. The next step is joining them together, where we take off, accelerate beyond the 30 knots, up to 70 when the wing takes over, and then slow down and land. So that'll be a big moment for us later this year. <laughs>